Hello scientific audience, how are you all? So today I'm back with a very good demonstration in physics that is to measure the boiling point of water. This is a very very important concept for grade 7 to grade 12 students and mostly students they fail to understand the measurement of boiling point of water so that's why I have decided to make a video on that. Here is the true definition of the boiling point. It is a constant temperature at which liquid converts into gaseous state at that particular value of pressure. You should understand that boiling point is not a constant quantity. So suppose inside the pressure cooker, the pressure is way more larger than the atmospheric pressure. So water boils at somewhere around 125 degrees Celsius. And if you go to Mount Everest, the pressure, atmospheric pressure over there is very low compared to the pressure at the sea levels. So water boils below 100 degrees Celsius at about 70 degrees Celsius. So here I have taken some amount of water in a beaker that is somewhere around 150 ml. And with the help of stand, I have suspended this thermometer. Here we have the Bunsen's burner. This is a wire gaze and water in a beaker which we are going to heat. Wire gaze actually is used for uniform heating. So you may have a look at uh, the quantity of water. It is approximately 150 ml because the reading is somewhere around in between 100 and 200. So it is 150 ml water. You should make sure that the thermometer should not touch the walls of the container or the beaker and it should not also touch the bottom of the beaker as well. And the bulb of the mercury should be well immersed inside the water. So right now the temperature is about 38 degree Celsius and that too inside the water and I have not started heating the water yet. Let's switch on the Bunsen's burner and start our experiment. You can see that temperature has started rising. The temperature is above 50 degrees Celsius, roughly about 52 degrees Celsius. Now the temperature has increased to 55 degrees Celsius. It has crossed 60 degrees Celsius. It is showing about 62 degrees Celsius. Now the temperature is about 65 degrees Celsius and let us have a look at the water. We can see that there are small amount of bubbles that have started to form at the bottom.
temperature is about 75 degrees Celsius and you can see some amount of vapors have already started to form and you should note that these vapors are due to evaporation it is not boiling. The temperature has crossed above 80 degrees Celsius. It is showing 84 degrees Celsius. The bubble formation has significantly increased. You can see more amount of water vapor being formed. The temperature has crossed 90 degrees Celsius. Now we should be careful in our reading. You must understand that it is not 100 degree always that is the boiling point of water. When this mercury level keeps on rising, rising, rising and when it stops at one particular level that is the boiling point of water. Even if you are continuously heating from the bottom and the temperature stops rising that means the entire heat energy that you are giving is used for changing the state not for the rise in the temperature. We can see the temperature has crossed 95 degrees Celsius and we should be very careful that any at any moment of time from right now the temperature will stop rising even if the Bunsen's burner is on. So that is our boiling point. The reading of the thermometer shows 99 degrees Celsius. Look at the water, you can see more amount of bubbles being formed over here and the vapors as well. Now we can clearly see the temperature scale shows 100 degrees Celsius and we should wait if the temperature is rising then this is not the boiling point as well. I am continuously heating it from the bottom but I am not seeing any further rise in the temperature that means the thermometer level or the mercury level has stopped at this particular temperature and at this particular temperature whatever amount of heat energy we give will be used to change the state from liquid to the gas and now that gaseous state of water may be called as steam. We will wait for some more time to check. So if we are supposed to find out the boiling point of an unknown liquid, simply take the unknown liquid in a beaker, suspend the thermometer and start heating and you need to see 
the mercury level constantly. So wherever the mercury level stops, that is the boiling point of that unknown liquid. At that particular temperature, you will see large number of vapors as well as bubbles being formed. So hopefully guys you have enjoyed this experiment please do subscribe to my channel and share my channel and the videos as much as you can and thank you for being my valuable subscriber and thank you for watching the video as well.